Do you live where starlings are an invasive species and want to learn how to trap them with a nest box trap? Let's learn how. Hi, I'm Jeff with Backyard Birds. This is a Vanner starling nest box trap. And combined with a nest box for starlings, you can use it to trap starlings when they're seeking nesting sites. This is a nest box trap in action. Watch as the starling enters and is trapped inside the box. There he goes. If you like nature how-to videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video. The whole reason I trap starlings is so the flicker woodpeckers can successfully nest. This starling has taken over a flicker woodpecker box and is excavating wood shavings from it. The starling, also known as the common or European starling, is an invasive introduced species in North America and elsewhere. It is an extremely aggressive bird that outcompetes native cavity nesting birds and will destroy their eggs, young, and even adults in order to use a nesting cavity. They are not a protected species in North America and can be legally trapped and eliminated. For more information on starlings, click on the link at the top of this video. Let's look at what we need. We need a nest box that starlings can enter. We need a nest box trap that will catch the starling in the nest box. And we need a mesh laundry bag to put over the nest box when we remove the starling. Look in the description to find links for buying the Vander nest box trap and the mesh laundry bag. Let's look at the characteristics of the nest box we use. Now this nest box is designed for great crested flycatchers, but it's the same size as starlings like. Now it needs to have a two inch diameter hole that will let starlings to enter, but it'll keep larger birds out like the flicker woodpecker. It needs to be either front opening like this one, or it can be side opening or top opening so that you can remove the starling after it's been trapped. Dimensions for the nest box are posted in the description. Let me show you how the trap works. I've taken the front off the nest box to show you. So first off, you attach the trap to the front of the nest box and it just slides onto two screws that are permanently attached to the front. So I slide the trap on. Now to set it, you pull down the top, you lift up the trigger and you catch the top on this little nub here. Now imagine a bird flying into the nest box. It lands on the trigger and the trap snaps shut and the bird is caught alive. Then you look out at your nest box and you see the two orange dots and you know something has been trapped. Let's pretend like we caught a bird in the nest box. So the first thing we do is we take the nest box down from the mount and we take our laundry bag our mesh laundry bag and place it over the nest box. I lift up the nest box, pull the laundry bag over it. Now the first thing we do is we loosen up this screw that's holding the front of the box. And I have to be very careful that this doesn't pop open and the bird escapes. So now we cinch the bag completely tight around the nest box. So when we open up the box there's no way that the starling or whatever bird is trapped inside will get away. So we would open up the box and if there was a bird inside it would fly out into the bag. And it would fly up against the outside of the bag and I would just grab it with one hand. Then I would open up the bag, reach in with the other hand, and grab the bird take it out. If the bird is a starling or a house sparrow, I would euthanize it. If it's a native bird, I turn it loose. So let's talk about when we can trap starlings in nest box traps. The only time you can really catch them is when they're seeking out nesting sites. And here in Kansas, that's about from February through May. 
But you'll know that it's nesting season for them because you'll see the starlings entering the nest boxes and checking them out. You'll see the males singing from either the top of the nest box or from a nearby tree. And you may also see them bringing nesting material to the nest box. In any of those cases, you can set the nest box trap. So if you do catch a starling, you'll remove the starling and euthanize it. And so then you'll set the trap again and set the nest box up because you'll probably catch its mate as well. Some suggestions I have for trapping starlings, don't just put up one nest box, put up multiple boxes. I have at least six of them in my yard just for catching starlings, but they can also be used by great crested flycatchers for nesting sites. Now you'll want to mount your nest boxes out in the open or near buildings because those are places starlings like to nest. Once the trap is set, you need to monitor it every hour because if you catch a native bird, you need to release it immediately. I like to point the nest box towards my house so I can just look out a window and see if the trap has been sprung. You want to be very careful when you're removing a starling because you don't want it to escape. If you catch a starling and it escapes, you'll probably never catch it again. Let's look at how the nest box is mounted. It's, it's on a 10-foot pole. And so the nest box is mounted first to a five foot length of half inch EMT conduit. And then the half inch conduit is inserted into three quarter inch conduit. And you can see it has a carriage bolt holding in place. So that makes a telescoping pull out of it. Next you see this gallon can mounted on the three-quarter inch conduit. That's a predator guard to keep things like squirrels from climbing up and destroying the box. And then you'll see the three-quarter inch EMT conduit is attached to a steel fence post which is then driven into the ground. Every year I trap between 30 and 60 starlings in nest box traps just in my yard. And because I trap starlings, the flicker woodpeckers have been able to nest successfully in my yard. And last year I had three pairs of flickers nest in my yard. So I'm curious, why do you want to trap starlings? Leave a message in the comments below the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. For more videos on controlling invasive species like house sparrows and starlings, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel.